podcast like... today, brought to you by Icon Health and Fitness, Never Give Up, Lee's Marketplace, You've Got a Friend at Lee's, yeah. and by the letter R. <laughs> <laughs> we thought Sesame Street go. was so successful that we'd incorporate some of their little tactics into our show. So every day we'll have a new letter for you. If there's any other letters interested in advertising, give us a call at, uh, what is what is our number? It doesn't matter. 752-7537. Or the website, www.thevalleychannel.com. <laughs> Shameless. Shameless plugs. Wow. Okay, on to something much bigger and much better. Okay, we have already introduced Jake. Jake, that's you. That's me, bigger and better. <laughs> and it's local grown. Than R. Now, you guys are a local band, and um, you've got a big concert coming up. We do. We have a very big concert that we are so excited about. Now, why is that? Well, we we haven't played in such a long time. We, we're we from here in Logan, or at least that's where kind of the band originated. And uh, we, we played a, a great deal in the first few years that we were here, and we've kind of taken a save you know our thunder for for big shows and so that's kind of what we've done here we put together a cd it's taken us about got almost a year to produce that we're just really excited about and uh yeah we haven't played a lot in in preparation for this show because we just we want to make it we want to make it a big deal we, we want to make it something that people you know will remember for the rest of their lives and and that we can remember for the rest of our lives just we want to make it a big deal we did a show like this last year that was just probably the high point of my life at the Ellen Eccles Theater that was just incredible and we want we want to surpass our own expectations that we even had for that show and what we accomplished there so awesome. so it's going to be a big deal we're really excited about it we have a fun opening band we have excellent equipment and it's at a great venue to the big venue at the Kent Concert Hall awesome. so what uh, day is it going on November 8th that's a Monday November 8th uh, it's 7 30 p.m. and uh, our tickets are five dollars and if you make a can donation or a paper good donation uh, you get a dollar off and we're gonna donate that to the Cache Valley Food Pantry here in town and uh, so supporting a good cause and getting a dollar off for the show and so uh, you can get those tickets at uh, the USU ticket office or if you see any of us if you know one of us which most people <laughs> a lot of people in Logan we know we know we've been here long enough to know a lot of Cache Valley residents and so if you see one of us we can sell you a ticket as well Awesome, and it's a great, you know, you definitely don't want to pay. It's $4 and bring a can of food, and also you want to bring some extra cash because you can pick up the third CD Absolutely. at the concert. Absolutely. We will have uh, Hot Off the Press. We will have copies of our new album, 12. That's the title of the album. And, uh, yeah. They'll, you'll Chicago had good success with numbering their albums. Yeah, they so. did, yeah. yeah. This is only our third album, so we aren't following quite the same sequential <laughs> idea that they did. So what's but that's our goal, 12 albums. <laughs> so. 12. We're done after that. That's right. Is that, is that the deal with the 12? What does it really mean? 12 is actually, uh, it was one of those things where you're, it's a funny experience when you're trying to come up with names because everybody sits down and you try to be serious about it, but you just find yourself coming up with really stupid names. You know, <laughs> just like, man, we sit and laugh just for hours about names and nobody takes any of them seriously. And, because, I don't know, we're, we kind of, we have a, big, a, a sense of humor about local growing that we, we're really not rock stars and we'll never be rock stars. We're just kind of guys, you know, that are having a good time. And so we decided there are 12 songs on the album. And so here you go, 12. 12 for you. And I hope you enjoy them all. Cause simple and sweet. Simple and sweet. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. See, you're in a lot better shape than some of the bands that, you know, probably don't think they're going to make it very big and do. Because, you know, like Hoobastank. You know, you, they couldn't seriously have th thought, that's going to be a band name that's going to be just awesome. <laughs> that's you know, true. they were like, we're never going to be famous. I don't know, just call us Hoobastank. That's you know? right. When you, when you give yourself a name, it sticks. It's a hard thing to switch around. Well, luckily you guys got a good one. I think Local Girl is pretty safe. Yeah, it's a pretty good name. We're fans of it. It's fun. We, we get just mispronunciations of it. And it's one word, and people always make it two words. And it's, mm -hmm. you know, we've learned that it's not the end of the world when people say it wrong or pronounce it wrong. It's, <laughs> it's not a big deal. But it's a fun name. We like it a lot. And it, it kind of gives kind of a local feel to it. People always wonder if we're from Logan. And, you know, we're actually from uh, Salt Lake. Me and my little brother are from Salt Lake, and Quinn, our piano player, is from Salt Lake, and Keith is from Cedar City, and Nate is from Brigham, from Brigham City. So none of us are really local, but the idea is there that when we become globally popular, right, there will be a local <laughs> gotcha. element there. Can you understand right. where we're coming yeah. from there? Right. Then we'll be globally grown. Gotcha. <laughs> 
Just kidding. There you go. There you so go. So you'll be regionally, you'll be regionally grown, That's and then right. finally nationally global, grown. nationally, and then global, internationally grown, and then who knows, you know. So basically, the name just grows. The name just Solid grows. Play. That's right. Solid. Regionally grown doesn't have much, so we'll have to get through that one quick. Get through yeah. it fast. <laughs> I gotta ask you this: Who's the diva? Who's the diva? Come on, in every, wow. in if every group. There's if there's a diva, one. then it's definitely Quinn. And he probably, the rest of us would be like embarrassed by that title, but Quinn would, with pride, be like, I, I will be the diva of the band. Because he, uh, he, he has that element. He has more soul easily than anybody else in the band does. And he's the R&B. We kind of each have our own element. You know, we have the folk, we have the grunge, we have the Keith's kind of, I don't know what Keith is. He's the dorky band kid from high school element. <laughs> then there's uh, there's Ouch. Quinn with the R and B element, and uh, he's the diva. He wails. Yeah. We all have our moments when we wail, but I think Quinn would appreciate the diva title. <laughs> Embrace it. Yeah, <laughs> Quinn's married, by the way, everybody. Just <laughs> so I don't distract or yeah. deter anybody with that comment. Well, see, a lot of people get confused too because I'm pretty much the diva here. So. Okay, <laughs> right, right. And you can have that title. Oh, I insist. Sure. I insist on things being a certain way. Sure. It runs deeper than the vocal. <laughs> it elements. does. Yeah. 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 Now. How did you guys? How did you guys get started? Well, we about three years ago, uh, Quinn and I had known each other. We served LDS missions together, and we had just kind of known of each other. He knew I was coming to Utah State, and he and Nate, who were in choir together up at Rick's College, were coming down here together. And so they were looking for another roommate. And so I was like, Yeah, I I, I know them, and that's better than not knowing somebody. And so we lived together, and we we just made music all the time in our apartment, all of us were very musically inclined. And so Nate and I would always be playing the guitar and Quinn would come in and sing along. And so we just kind of noticed that it just worked. There was this dynamic there that was really fun. And, and it was something that we just found so much joy in, in doing and sharing with people. And, and uh, we decided to take it seriously. We had a Christmas show that we were gonna put on and we decided, you know, we need to call ourselves something. So we chose the name Local Grown. And, uh, and, and put on a little concert. And from there, it just kind of spiraled. You know, once you do one show, somebody sees you there and they're like, hey, could you play a wedding? Or hey, could you play this function? Or we have this school fundraiser or whatever. We played a lot of fundraisers up on campus and campus really plugged us into it. We knew a lot of people that were on councils and a lot of, you know, there's always a need for a band on campus. And we, we did a lot of those kind of gigs and that kind of exposed us and probably made, you know, we saturated campus really. There are a lot of people that heard our name, maybe not heard of us, but we were just always playing. We really worked hard and we didn't make any money, but we just worked our, our cans off that first year. You make it sound so easy, but the thing is, is the reason why is because you guys are talented. You guys are good. People like listening to you. Why? Well, I, I that's hope all so, we, yeah. That's all we need to be successful. That's all we need to be successful. We try. We try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, think, I think people like us just because we, uh, I hope we emulate emanate this feeling of just like, we really understand that we're just, you know, we're like your neighbors, just trying to have a good time. We've always tried to recreate that feeling of like, just, these are the guys that are just your neighbors and you go over to their house and you listen to them sing and they're fun and you know a little bit about their lives and stuff. And we try to emanate this like, we take ourselves pretty lightly and we're not afraid to do silly things or make fun of each other or make fun of ourselves. And, and I think that's endearing to people. I think people like that in a, in a, you know, a world where we're bombarded by the uh, commercial, you know, and everybody's too cool for this and too cool for that. Like, I don't know. We haven't sold out yet. Let me put it that way. <laughs> Maybe that's just our approach. But. But well, I want to hear some more about this, but we need to take we need to take a quick break. Okay. First, we have to do our uh, we have to talk about what today is and everything else. But I want right. you to stay right there. It's National Make a Difference Day. All right. See. All right. And then, of course, Halloween the thirty first. So excited about Halloween. All Can right. And our community calendar brought to us by Copland's Hallmark. For everyone thinking of coming to Utah State after having at least a five-year gap in their education, there's a workshop at Utah State University Wednesday, November 3rd. Don't go yeah. into my history. At a Bravno Hall. Tickets can be at 7. Adventures at, um, by checking out the website, um, cgadventures.org, or by also heading out to... I don't remember. The printing place. What's a printing place? Square one. Print. Square Walk. one. Thank you. Jake is helpful. He will, be taking we over, he will be taking over the show completely <laughs> when we come back. <laughs> yes. And also we'll find out a little more about, about the music and a little more about what makes these guys tick. Stick around. <laughs> 